Good afternoon, everyone. It's showtime. Welcome to the 159th annual meeting of the National Academy of Sciences. I'm Marcia McNutt, I'm the president, and it's my pleasure to preside over the presentation ceremony for our members elected in 2020. Congratulations to you all. I know you are joined here by many family members, friends, former students, mentors, uh, general cheerleaders, and groupies. And thank you all for being here, and a special welcome as well to everyone who is joining us through the simultaneous webcast. Now, uh, the course of, uh, of run for show here is as I call the name of each new member and they walk up on the stage, what are you going to do? No, no, you're not. No, you're not. You're not going to shout. You are going to remain quiet while I read you a sentence that describes the wonderful contributions to science of each of these remarkable individuals. Only when that is done, then shout, scream, clap, whatever you want, okay? And as each member walks up and signs the book, remember to smile for the photographer. All right, and as you exit the stage here, please remember to pick up a rosette, which is the emblem um, that shows you are an Academy member. Now, for those who might have been in the earlier classes inducted, our COVID year classes, if you forgot to pick up a rosette, please do so at the conclusion of the ceremony because uh, that is yours for the taking. I am joined here on stage by Sue Wessler, our wonderful Home Secretary, and John Hildebrand, our International Secretary. Now, all three of us are, would love to jump up and give you a hug, shake your hand, and give you high fives as you cross the stage and welcome you. But because of COVID protocols, we're not going to do this. We don't want to turn this into some super spreader event. But just know that we are doing all three of those in our hearts as you sign the book. OK. So let's start. First up is Arturo Alvarez Buya. Arturo Buya's seminal work has led to new insights on brain development and on the origin of brain tumor formation. Beautifully done. You're, you're all, you all take direction so well. This, this is terrific. Okay. Next, Robert Anderson. Anderson pioneered theories of the keystone processes driving landscape evolution as modulated by tectonism and climate. Elena Aprile. Aprile's pioneering work on liquid xenon detectors has played a critical role in the efforts to directly detect dark matter. Beautiful. Francis Bagano. Bagenal is the leading expert on properties of the plasma that pervades the magnetospheres of the outer planets. <laughs> Barbara Baker. Baker advanced plant molecular biology through her isolation of the first plant disease resistant gene, N, for necrosis. <laughs> 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 
Anna Balage. Balage has enriched material sciences through her work on developing computational models for hybrid materials and soft matter. <laughs> Ralph Barrick. Barrick's work has expanded our understanding of RNA virus genetics pathogenesis, cross-species transmission, and evolution. <laughs> Marisa Bartolome. Bartolome leads research in discovering mechanisms governing genomic imprinting, which establishes different epigenetic-based roles of sperm and eggs in mammalian reproduction. <laughs> Mary Beckerley. Beckerley has advanced cancer biology, unraveling a novel mechanism by which cells sense and respond to physical force. <laughs> Jane Belknap. Belknap has pioneered our understanding of the role that complex biological crust communities play in dryland and rangeland ecosystems. <laughs> Carrie Bloom. Bloom is a leader in mechanistic studies of the function of the centromere, which ensures the accurate segregation of chromosomes during cell division. <laughs> Gregory Bobinger. Bobinger is the world leader in high magnetic field research on quantum materials with a focus on high temperature superconductivity. <laughs> C. Jeffrey Brinker. Brinker is a pioneer in nanoscience and engineering, establishing the chemical and physical principles of soft gel processing and photocells. <laughs> Alessandra Buonanno. Buonanno has made fundamental contributions to the theoretical predictions of gravitational waves emitted by binary systems composed of black holes and neutron stars. <laughs> Wee Chow. Chow has revolutionized applied physics through her works on novel, photonic devices, and unconventional lasers for imaging, spectroscopy, and cryptography. <laughs> Daiyuan Chang. Chang's work has unraveled cholesterol regulation, isolating key mutants, and elucidating steps in the pathway that controls cholesterol metabolism. Li Ping Chen. Chen's discovery of several key immune modulatory molecules has paved the way for successful immunotherapies. <laughs> Peter Constantine. Constantine has enriched mathematics 
through his work on partial differential equations related to statistical and nonlinear physics. <laughs> Alan DeAndrea. DeAndrea's groundbreaking work established the molecular basis for the disease Faconi anemia and is instrumental to cancer gene profiling efforts. <laughs> Dean Della Pena. Della Pena's work identifying key genes for vitamin E and vitamin A biosynthesis improved the micronutrient composition of staple crops. Clara Dacer. Dacer's work guides our understanding of climate variability and climate change and the interactions among the ocean, atmosphere, and cryosphere. <laughs> Anthony DiFiori. DiFiori has made unique contributions to primate molecular genetics, phylogenetics, and behavioral ecology. Savas Dimopoulos. Dimopoulos' work constructing theories beyond the standard model has transformed our understanding of high energy physics. <laughs> Michael Dustin. Dustin's pioneering work on immunological synapse formation has enabled discovery of molecules and pathways involved in important immunological processes. <laughs> Linda Elkins-Tanton. Elkins-Tanton's innovative use of geodynamic modeling, petrology, geochemistry, and field investigations provides fundamental insights into planetary formation. <laughs> Elliot Elson. Elson's work and development of fluorescence correlation spectroscopy provides an increased understanding of the dynamics and mechanical properties of living cells. <laughs> Catherine Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald's work has laid the foundation for our understanding of the inflammatory response during infection and the role of innate immunity in inflammatory diseases. <laughs> Glenn Fredrickson. Fredrickson's work in computational field theory techniques revolutionized understanding of the thermodynamics, dynamic structure, and properties of polymers and soft materials. <laughs> Judith Friedman. Friedman's fundamental discoveries have shaped our understanding of protein folding and quality control in the cell. Stephen Fuselet. Fuselet has made fundamental discoveries about the interaction of the solar wind with the Earth's magnetosphere comets, comets and the interstellar medium. <laughs> um, 
Michelle Gelfond. Gelfond's work on cultural influences on conflict, negotiation, justice, revenge, workplace diversity, and discrimination has advanced the psychology of cross-cultural interfaces. Deidre Gentner. Gentner's research on analogical processing has shaped our understanding of learning, reasoning, language, and mental representation. <laughs> Shankar Ghosh. Ghosh's research helped elucidate the NF-kappa-B pathway and provides a groundbreaking insight into the regulatory networks that govern immune responses. <laughs> Vadim Gladyshev. Gladyshev's identification and characterization of selenoprotein genes provides the foundation for understanding the role of dietary selenium in biology and medicine. <laughs> Louise Glass. Glass is a leader in the biology of filamentous fungi, elucidating and deciphering their molecular and regulatory mechanisms. <laughs> Robert Griffin. Griffin's research and innovations in nuclear magnetic resonance and dynamic nuclear uh, polarization technology have advanced molecular and cellular structure research. Nicholas Grigoriev. Grigoriev's pioneering work on the development and implementation of image processing tools is critical to our understanding of the cellular assembly and function. <laughs> Maureen Hansen. Hansen advances plant biology through her research on joint nuclear and organelle control of gene expression in plant mitochondria and chloroplasts. <laughs> Joseph Heitmann. Heitmann's groundbreaking research in eukaryotic microbial genetics reveals how cells sense nutrients and their environment, sexually reproduce, and infect hosts. <laughs> Catherine High. High's pioneering studies in gene therapy for genetic disease have advanced development of novel therapeutics to treat hemophilia and other genetic disorders. <laughs> Donald Hilgeman. Hilgeman's research has advanced our understanding of the molecular biophysics of ion transport and plasma membrane remodeling. <laughs> Anita Hopper. Hopper's groundbreaking studies contribute to our understanding how tnRNAs are processed and sorted in response to environmental clues. <laughs> Holly 
Ingram. Ingram's innovative research on hormone signaling and sex-specific psychological regulatory mechanisms, or physiological, I'm sorry, regulatory mechanisms, has improved our understanding of female metabolism and physiology. <laughs> Nina Chablonsky. Chablonsky leads research on primate and human evolution, including work on the origin and evolution of human skin and skin pigmentation. <laughs> Lorinda Jaffe. Jaffe's pioneering work has revealed physiological mechanisms that control oocyte development and fertilization. Janendra Jain. Jain's work on strongly correlated states of electrons predicted the topological particle called composite fermion, advancing condense, condensed matter physics. <laughs> Michael Kearns. Kearns is a pioneer in the theory of machine learning algorithmic game theory, and computational social science. <laughs> Joseph Kieber. Kieber studies ethylene and cytokinin signaling to advance our understanding of developmental processes and the response of plants to the environment. Rachel Clevett. Clevett's groundbreaking research in structural biology has been instrumental in understanding mechanisms of disease in breast cancer, Parkinson's, and cataract formation. <laughs> David Knipp. Knipe leads research in the fields of viral epigenetics and Hermes virology, defining many mechanisms of herpes infection. <laughs> Rachel Cranton. Cranton has made fundamental contributions to the economics of identity, as well as the understanding of how social network structure impacts behaviors. <laughs> Cato Lorenzen. Lorenzen's seminal work in polymeric material science, engineering, and physics has led to groundbreaking advances in muscular skeletal, excuse me, muscular skeletal repair and regeneration. Jan Leach. Leach has advanced plant pathology through her work on the molecular genetics of interactions between the pathogens and host plants. <laughs> Jan Lecoeur. Lecoeur's pioneering work on the development and application of con Evolutional neural networks has transformed computer vision and other areas of artificial intelligence. <laughs> Randall Levesque. Levesque has pioneered key algorithms and software for hyperbolic conservation laws, wave propagation, and geophysical flow problems. Zachary Lippman. 
Lipman's breakthrough work elucidated the genes and interaction that control flower production and identified principles for engineering quantitative variation. <laughs> Susan Lovett. Lovett is a pioneer in DNA metabolism, providing critical insights into molecular mechanisms of genetic recombination, replication fork repair, DNA repair, and mutagenesis. <laughs> Nadia Mason. Mason is an innovator of advanced materials, including graphene and topological insulators, nanofabrication, and novel aspects of superconductivity in reduced dimension. John Mansell. Mansell's fundamental discoveries in vision and visuospatial attention provide insight into the functional organization of the cerebral cortex. <laughs> Thomas McDade. McDade forges new understanding in human population biology through his innovative research on the ecology and development of human immune functions. <laughs> Harry McSween. McSween's research has advanced our understanding of the formation of the solar system and the geologic histories of Mars and asteroids. <laughs> Peter Istvan Mesaros. Mesaros has made fundamental contributions to theoretical cosmology and high-energy astrophysics with his studies on black holes, neutrino production, and gamma ray bursts. <laughs> Catherine Moeller. Moeller is a leader in the development and applications of sensitive scanning magnetic probes to image local magnetic fields and currents in quantum materials. Isabel Montanez. Montanez has advanced our understanding of ancient climate change through her groundbreaking work in sedimentology and stratigraphy. <laughs> Denise Montel. Montel's pioneering work in cell biology has unearthed molecular genetic mechanisms governing collective cell migration and recovery from extreme stress. Oh, big fan club there. All right. <laughs> Catherine Moore, Moore's groundbreaking work in metabolic and metabolic and nutrient stress responses sheds light on the biological origins of cardiovascular and cardiometabolic disease. <laughs> Tiran Moore. Moore has made fundamental contributions to our understanding of the neural mechanisms of cognition, such as visual attention. Mary Ann Morin. Morin's advances in marine microbial cycling of carbon and sulfur have enabled a better understanding of the global ocean microbiome. Yeah. 
Diana Mutz. Mutz's groundbreaking research on public opinion, political psychology, and mass political behavior addresses deep questions of democratic theory. Lynn Nadell. Nadell has advanced our understanding of the role of the hippocampus in the formation of cognitive maps and episodic memories. <laughs> Gita Narlikor. Narlikor's cutting edge work on chromatin plus Plasticity and phase separation has changed fundamental models of genome organization. <laughs> Ralph Nuzo. Nuzo's co discovery of self assembled monolayers and contributions to soft lithography established the guiding principles of bottom up assembly in materials chemistry. <laughs> Angela Valela Olinto. Olinto has expanded our understanding of astrophysical particles through her work on the origins of high energy cosmic rays, gamma rays, and neutrinos. Olofunmilio Alaparde. Alaparde is a pioneer for her research on health disparities and characterization of inherited breast and ovarian cancer among women of African ancestry. <laughs> Julie Overbaugh. Overbaugh's groundbreaking studies of HIV infection in women and infants with African collaborators has advanced our understanding of HIV transmission and pathogenesis. <laughs> Bernice Pescasolodido. Let me try that again. Pesca Solido, okay. Pesca Solido's research examining how social factors shape lives, health problems, solutions, and recovery has transformed the field of mental health. <laughs> Linda Petzold. Petzold is a pioneer for her work on the numerical solution of differential algebraic equations and their incorporation into widely distributed software. <laughs> Margaret Phillips. Phillips advances understanding of malaria and its treatment through her work to identify inhibitors of essential metabolic pathways. <laughs> Stuart Pickett. Pickett is a visionary for ecology and social ecological systems pioneering fundamental principles and theoretical frameworks of urban ecology. Adam Svorsky. Svorsky's work on the multiple connections between political democracy and economic development has advanced comparative politics. <laughs> Nancy Rabelais. 
Rabelais has advanced scientific and public understanding of the impacts of excess nitrogen and phosphorus runoff of the Gulf of Mexico. She's responsible for the dead zone. Well, for understanding the dead zone. <laughs> she didn't create it. <laughs> Robin Reed. Reed pioneered using community science and collaborative conservation to empower communities to understand, manage, and restore their local ecosystems. John Rickford. Rickford has expanded our understanding of sociolinguistic variation, focusing on the ethnicity in, ethnicity in Caribbean Creoles and African American vernacular English. <laughs> Gregory Robinson. Robinson's landmark research has extended our understanding of the nature of chemical bonding in molecules that prominently feature earth abundant elements. Ellen Rothenberg. Rothenberg's groundbreaking research provides unique insights into the transcriptional networks responsible for T cell development and signaling. <laughs> Anila Sargent. Sargent advanced the study of planetary nurseries around young stars through the development and application of millimeter wave interferometers. <laughs> Jonathan Sessler. Sessler has advanced science through his seminal contributions to our understanding of expanded uh, porphyrin macrocyclic and supramolecular chemistry. <laughs> Ruth Shaw. Shaw studies of wild plant populations provide key insights into the evolutionary processes affecting fitness, including adaptation and spontaneous mutation. <laughs> Chet Sherwood. Sherwood is a leader in the study of human evolution through comparative analysis of primate brain structure. Celeste Simon. Simon's breakthrough work shows the impact of oxygen gradients on embryonic cardiovascular development and the behavior of multiple cell populations. <laughs> Giliola Staffalani. Staffalani leads research in nonlinear dispersive equations applicable to wave phenomenon and other aspects of mathematical physics. <laughs> Wilfred Vanderdonk. 
Vanderdonk has increased our understanding of the mechanisms of enzyme catalysis through his work on the biosynthesis of antimicrobial peptides. <laughs> Michael Wazalewski. Wazalewski has made pioneering contributions to understanding the fundamental relationship between molecular structure and electron transfer dynamics. Eileen White. White advances cancer biology through her studies of viral activators and inhibitors of apoptosis, autophagy, and metallic, metabolic interactions with those processes. <laughs> Rachel Wong. Wong has elucidated the fundamental principles of neuronal development through her discovery of novel cellular strategies and signaling mechanisms. <laughs> Don Wright. Wright is a leader in the development of geospatial methodologies for mapping and interpreting the seafloor. Ellen Seibel. Seibel has made breakthrough contributions to plasma astrophysics and astrophysical fluid dynamics with applications to laboratory experiments, stars, and galaxies. That brings us to the end of the uh, members, and we're going to move on to the international members. But first, I would like to acknowledge two of our colleagues who were elected last year, but unfortunately passed away before they could attend this ceremony for their induction today. The first is Robert Jervis, who pioneered the study of signaling and misperception in international politics. His wife, Kathy, and grandson, Daniel, are here today. I ask them to please stand and be recognized. And next, I'd like to remember Thomas Lovejoy, a close personal friend and a leader in predicting the loss of biodiversity. He passed away in December, and we miss him very much. And now to our international members. Nated Bonn. Bond's studies of ribosomes and their function, functional complexes provided groundbreaking insights into the process of protein synthesis. <laughs> Monique Borgerhoff Mulder. Borgerhoff Mulder has enriched human behavioral ecology through her work on demography, marriage, and natural resource management. <laughs> Zil Brassar. Brassar pioneered quantum informational science through his seminal work on quantum cryptography and quantum teleportation. Marisa Carrasco. Carrasco's groundbreaking research reveals how visual attention fundamentally shapes perception, discrimination, and appearance.
Jorn Christensen Dalsgaard. Christensen Dalsgaard's scientific, or, excuse me, seismic investigations of the solar and stellar properties have advanced helioseismology and asteroseismology. Daniel Drucker. Drucker's pioneering discoveries in gut hormone action have enabled development of new medications to treat diabetes, obesity, and short bowel syndrome. <laughs> Odile Eisenstein. Eisenstein's work on organometallic structural reactivity and spectroscopic problems has established bridges between experimental and computational chemistry. <laughs> Claudia Felser. Felser's work reveals connections between a material's molecular level properties and the electronic structure exhibited by the solid state version. <laughs> Robert Fetteplace. Fetaplace's groundbreaking work has revealed the mechanotransduction mechanism in inner ear sensory hair cells used for hearing and balance. <laughs> Edith Hurd. Hurd's work on the process of X chromosome inactivation has established new paths to understanding development, epigenetics, and nuclear organization. <laughs> Regina Common. Common's pioneering research elucidated the mechanisms that allow fungi to infect plants and cause disease. Ursula Keller. Keller has made foundational contributions to optical science and technology through her pioneering work on ultrafast laser physics and at a scale science. Lisa Culey. Culey's work has transformed our understanding of how galaxies have formed and evolved over the past 12 billion years. <laughs> Victoria Reyes Garcia. Reyes Garcia's cross cultural comparative work has advanced scientific understanding of the importance of indigenous and local knowledge systems. <laughs> Elizabeth Robertson. Robertson is a pioneer in the studies of early development of the mammalian embryo and placenta and discovery of the morphogen nodal. <laughs> Ethan Chai. Chai has transformed plant biology through her novel research on nitrate transport nitrate signaling, and nitrogen utilization efficiency. We 
Viola Fogel. Fogel has made pioneering contributions to understanding how mechanical forces can switch the structure function relationships of proteins and thus cell signaling. <laughs> Irvin Wagner. Wagner has pioneered technologies that have enabled an enhanced understanding of the, <laughs> of the mechanisms of development, inflammation, metabolism, and cancer, all while keeping warm, obviously. <laughs> So everyone played their roles beautifully. You have been a great audience, uh, very well done with all our new inductees in terms of getting your pictures and getting your rosettes. Congratulations. Why don't we have one last rousing round of applause for all of the new inductees.